Billiest part you want to marry me, Miss Belinda? Yes, Lord Mayor. Then prove yourself worthy. Travel around the world in 80 days. Unbelievable! We shall do it. And bet your 20,000 pounds your car into bed. Around the world in 80 days. Oh, Phileas, do be careful. My uncle is sending this man named Fix to stop you. Don't you worry, mademoiselle. Ah, as his companion shall watch out for Monsieur Fix. Around the world in 80 days, so fog, they very blind maze. Around the world with... Look at the map. Here we are in Switzerland. Today we are going to proceed across the mountains by railroad to this little village of Altdorf, where we must catch the three o'clock train for the next leg of our journey. Oh, it is just a short trip, so there is nothing special to pack. Oh, a few items, I think. Very well, monsieur. What are they? Well, let's see. Um, for a trip like this, we will need four tennis rackets. <laughs> Four tennis rackets? Aha! We are perhaps going to play tennis with Monsieur Fix. Pow! A pair of tweezers, a jar of honey, a crossbound arrow, and a large bag of rock salt. Tweezers, jar of honey, crossbow with arrow, one large bag of rock salt. Ah, I do not know what these other things are for, but I understand the crossbow and the bag of salt. I see your plan. You are going to hang the bag of salt from a tree, and when Monsieur Fix passes underneath, you will shoot it with the crossbow and boom! Monsieur Fix will bother us no more, right? Uh, we shall see. Uh, we shall see. Now, may we proceed with the packing? A dozen rubber bands, the teapot, two large umbrellas, and one apple. Dozen rubber bands, two large umbrellas, teapot, one apple. One apple? But, monsieur, there are two of us. Hand me the apple, please. Ah, now there are two. Not quite. A little dab of glue, just the right amount. Uh-huh. Now, Passepartout, shout as loudly as you can. Hey! Perfect. The vibrations of your voice did it. Oh, well, time to toddle along. After you, Monsieur Fou. It's all, Mr. Fix. I did. They're going by train, Mr. Fix. Through the mountains, Mr. Fix. You have a plan, Mr. Fix? <laughs> Cut them off at the pass, Mr. Fix. the alpine scenery. Switzerland has some of the most spectacular mountains in the world. The Matterhorn, the Jungfrau, Mont Blanc. A good spot for an avalanche, Mr. Fix. Perfect, Mr. Fix. Look at that snow. Time, Mr. Fix.
Betsy, coming this way. Right on schedule, my boy. I say, conductor, why are we stopping? Everledge, track is completely blocked. Work like a charm, Mr. Fix. That train will never get through. But what if he does, Mr. Fix? Do you have a plan? Have I got a plan? Have I got a plan? I've got three plans. I've set three traps in the mountains. A cold one, a wild one, and a slippery one. They'll never get by all three. But what if they do, Mr. Fix? Then they're in for the biggest surprise of all, Mr. Fix. How long before we can get started again? Oh, not till the spring thaw. Yeah, we'll have to back up to the last station. What shall we do? We shall get off the train and walk. But sir, you cannot do that. You are in the Alps. There is nothing out there but deep snow. You cannot walk in deep snow. We'll go by sled. There are no sleds. Horses then? There are no horses up here. Dog teams? No dog teams. There is no way. Oh, there is no way. There's always a way to save the day. Tennis, anyone? In the snow, Monsieur Fogg? That's the idea, Passepartout. The rubber bands, if you please. Thank you. Now, observe. I shall have iced tea. Must have my tea, don't you know? Parlez-vous! We stop for tea when we have to catch the three o'clock train at Altdorf. Then I shall make the exploration to see if Monsieur Fix is about. We cannot be too careful. <laughs> Lives up here. Chalet fix. Chalet fix. Monsieur Fogg, Monsieur Fogg, up here is a chalet, and it is where Monsieur Fix lives. How do you know? There is a sign. It says Chalet fix. One sign, Jolly Well, doesn't make a fix. It's got to be fixed. I shall investigate. That rock salt. Oh, dash it all, you can't. Uh, here we are. Salt melts ice in no time. I'll just finish my tea and we'll be on our way. Here we are in the village, Mr. Fix. Time for a disguise, Mr. Fix. Then we find out the most important thing in the village. And then we wreck it, Mr. Fix. And blame it on fog. He'll never get out of town. Oh, 
pardon me, sir. I'm your friendly inquiring reporter, and the question for today is, what would you do if somebody ruined the cheese factory? Listen, the cheese factory is the most important thing in this village. We make the best Swiss cheese in the world. Cheese is Switzerland's most important products. If someone dared to ruin the cheese factory, you know what I'd do to him? <laughs> That's what I'd do to him. Thank you very much. Mm, absolutely delicious. He's wrong. The cheese factory isn't the most important thing in the village. The chocolate factory is. Swiss chocolate is known all over the world. Everybody loves our chocolate. Hmm, uh, yes. Uh, well, uh, what would you do if somebody did something nutty to the chocolate factory? What would I do? What would I do? Well, first, I'd let him have it with the cheese. <laughs> then I'd let him have it with the chocolate. That's what I'd do. So, it's the chocolate factory. Wait, they're wrong. They said cheese and chocolate were most important. Wrong, wrong, wrong. The clock factory is the most important thing in this village. Nothing is more famous than Swiss watches and clocks. Why, half the watches in the world are made right here in Switzerland. Uh, well, sir, what would you do if somebody gummed up the works in the clock factory? Do, do. First, I'd let him have it with the cheese. Then I'd turn him into a chocolate sundae, like this. Then I'd make him wish he would never heard of clocks, like this. That's what I do. Dumb cop. There is the most important thing in the village. The statue of William Tell. He's right. William Tell, the symbol of our freedom. A national hero. On the great archer, too. Once a tyrant made him shoot an apple off his son's head, and he did it. So, we are all agreed. The most important thing in this village is the statue of William Tell. Right. 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 I guess you'd all be mad if someone broke the statue, right? Who would dare do such a thing? Yeah. <laughs> if they did, we'd put them in jail and throw away the key. <laughs> There. I'll bet it's Monsieur Fix in disguise. It's a Fix tricks for sure. Yeah, it looks like a bear to me, Passepartout. No, no, you are not suspicious enough. That Fix is a very tricky fellow. I'll prove it to you. Oh, 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 oh. Here, take hold of my walking stick. Sure, I'll go where bear. Sure, sure. We cannot stop. We have to go around the world in 80 days so Frog can marry Belinda Maze. Get out of the way. He won't move. Maybe there is something in the bag. We could catch him. No, you cannot make a cage out of tennis racket. This honey won't help. Aha! The crossbow will shoot him! No, no, we do not shoot things. We must protect wildlife, Passepartout. Besides, it's not his fault. I suspect Mr. Fix tied him there. No, we must make friends with him. He doesn't seem very friendly to me. That is a very, very angry bear. There is no way to make friends with him. There's always a way to save the day. We'll use the honey pot. Parlez-vous, of course, the honey. Why did I not think of that? I say, Bear. Bear, how about a spot of honey? What?
Mr. Fix. Now all you must do is make them blame it on you know who. <laughs> Three ride. Aha! Monsieur Fogg, here is a way to make up for lost time. Capital, capital. Don't think old Bear can go much further. Besides, we're jolly well running out of honey. Goodbye, Bear. I'll steer. You handle the brakes. Ah! Ah! Hold on, Toto! They're magnifique! I cannot turn! The steering wheel is broken! Put on the brakes! The brakes don't work in there! Big strikes! Big strikes! It's a disgrace, that's what it is! It's it's a yeah. Why, sir, we have to do something about it! Yes, Ned, you're you're good good the statue of William Tell, a national hero, ruined! Are we gonna let them get away with that? No! no. But who did it? Hey, who? Would you do it? Never! Would you? No! Or you? Never! Or you? No, no, a thousand times no! Would anybody here do a thing like this? No! no. Then who could have done it? Curve ahead! We'll never make it! The steering is broken! There is no way! There's always a way to save the day! Get out the umbrella! It's going to rain? You want to know who did it? I'll tell you who did it! Outside agitators! Strangers! That's who did it! Strangers! Beg pardon. Can you direct us to the railroad station? We're strangers here. Strangers! Good What will we do with the strangers? I say, give them 80 days in jail! No, 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 no. 80 days! You've done it, Mr. Fix. Congratulations, Mr. Fix. A brilliant plan, Mr. Fix. 80 days in jail. <laughs> you really fixed them, Mr. Fix. I say, one moment, please. Let us prove our innocence and our respect for your great hero, William Tell. Oh, 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 oh. If I duplicated William Tell's skill with a crossbow and shot an apple of young Passepartout's head, then would you believe that we could never destroy William Tell's statue? No! Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I mean, Mr. Fix, you've got to make sure he doesn't let that happen. Hold it, uh, just a minute. I say he's got to do it from 500 yards. Oh, 500 yards? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, can to be done. There's more than one way to save the day. 500 yards it is. Oh, le I uh, just happen to have an apple and my trusty crossbow right here. He's not going to do this to me. He's not. What? He wouldn't. He is. I think he is. He is going to shoot. Hey! Anybody that could with a crossbow wouldn't break the statue of the world's greatest archer. No, he didn't do it. Let them go. Yeah, they didn't do it. Time for our train, Passepartout. Shall we go? But wait! Who did do it? I think you'll find him right here! If he's guilty, we put him away for a thousand years! Oh. Yo, put him in the dungeon! No, my friends. Even if he is guilty, it's not revenge you want. What you really want is the statue back together. But how is that possible? It is in a jillion pieces. There is no way. <laughs> there is always a way to save the day. Voila! Tweezer! <laughs> Good show, Fat Batu. <laughs> Around the world in 80 days, past the two, so Fog may marry Linda Mace. Past the two, Fog may fail because of fix, and then Fog nicks his, nicks his tricks. Around the world with past the two. Around the world in 80 days.
Blinda Mays, so pop me Mary Blinda Mays, around the world with 